Wait! There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. If you keep on like this, the one in town will be your place. And I've got better things to do. New to Riverwood? Raylov? How do you know him? You did? We heard that Ulfric was captured. No, sorry. But in times like these, I can't just take the word of a stranger. A dragon? In Helgen? It can't be. Although, it would explain what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I thought I must have just been seeing things. 
I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Things just go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Gerda. Oh, brother. Mara's mercy, you're safe. Your friend told me about Helgen. But is it safe for you to be here? Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here, with my shield brothers. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Well, nobody asked you. If you think you're better than we are, go talk to Codlac Whitemane. See what a warrior of true metal is like. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. Blood on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us.
city's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Riverwood's in danger too? You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach, at the top of the hill. Pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Greymane or Battleborn? Then I say, well met, friend. I could tell you were a sharp one the moment I laid eyes on you. Long live the Empire. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. About the same as everyone else? They're the catfolk of Elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, Elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Yeah, these Khajiit make a living traveling. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Matter of fact, I do. They've been f and Denord knows a liar when she sees one. Farewell. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Battleborn, give me your money. I... I don't have any money. You better give me... Ten septums tomorrow, baby Battleborn. Or I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. Boys, no, please! Girls, dogs, I really don't have any elders. money, Grace. There's nobody I'll give I you ten fight. septums tomorrow. Just don't hit me. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Well, I used to sneak out at night and try to tip over the big ox in the Grey Mane's yard. And me and Mila used to climb up on the roof of Dragon's Reach and look for bird's eggs. But I don't do that stuff anymore. Father keeps catching me, and then I get in trouble. All right, then. Stupid Lars, Battleborn. I fight him almost every day. But it's not much of a fight, because he don't fight back. For you, red legions, for I love 
love you! I love, love! Even as man, great Talos cherished us. For he saw in us, in each of us, you have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. Because the so-called Emperor is a coward. That's right, I said coward! Oh yes, he agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordat. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here, and in Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. <laughs> let them come. I have no fear, for Talos is my ally, and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips. Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice, and with it he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. And there it is, friends! The ugly... We are the children's man! Damn those Grey Manes to oblivion. They want to back the Stormcloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. My lord, please. This is no time for rash action. I just think we need more information before we act. What's the meaning of this interruption? Who's Jarl this Balgruf man? is not receiving visitors. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Hmm. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the Jarl of Falkirk will the view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not- Enough! I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people! Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. 
You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. You are eager to begin your adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Take a look. Off to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. The Anything Jarl is not a patient man. Dragon. Neither am I, come to think of it. Need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Valgroof. You seem to have found me an able assistant. Damn those gray manes to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks. They'll get what's coming to them. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. of the yard. Stop right there. Smart man. Now, come along with us.
Dragons I can handle. But this talk of dragons, well gone mad, I'd say. What is it? I just want to go home and read. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. back to Riverwood. Yes, House Court. We'll leave immediately. It's just us against the dragon. Is that it? I can't afford to send anyone else. And we don't know where the dragon is. Your main job will be to keep an eye out and get the people to safety if the town is attacked. I don't expect the three of you to fight off a dragon by yourselves, but I do expect you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Riverwood safe. You can count on it. Let's move out. Time's a wasting. It seems our enemies have no end of spies, saboteurs, and assassins to send against us. Balgrup and I share a battle bond. We met as youths and forged our friendship in the fires of war. When he became Jarl, I insisted on serving as his protector. He had no cause to argue. Gods, you are curious. Almost dangerously so. I am charged with protecting the Jarl from any and all threats. Powerful men have many enemies, more so in times of strife, so you can imagine the dangers. Oh yes, there have been attempts on the Jarl's life. More than one would-be assassin has met his end at the tip of my blade. Take your pick. Dragons, Stormcloak assassins, ambitious and unscrupulous nobles, Sometimes I think his own children want him dead. And those are just the physical threats. Assaults on his sanity are another matter entirely. Every day he deals with obsequious functionaries and incompetent bureaucrats. Sadly, I'm not allowed to eliminate them. Well, not yet anyway. I've got my eyes on you.
This doesn't concern you, citizen. Walk away, now. What do you think you're doing? <laughs>
This is the part.